So, um, look at um, another vi uh, another uh, kind of a problem here. Um, the cumulative area from the left. Okay, and so what we need to do is we see that this first value is a minus 2.50. So we want to find that on the z-score. So we look at our table of z's and we get 2.50. Uh, legitimately you would ask a question and you'd say okay but this is supposed to be the problem asks for a negative 2.50 and we're looking at a 2.50. Well remember that the distribution is uh, symmetrical. So if we go through here and the area that's to the left of 2.50, negative 2.50, is going to be the same as the area that's to the right of 2.50. And so the area that we want is this area right here. Uh, that's what it says, is it wants a cumulative area from the left. So we see over here that it is 0 0.062 that's here. And that area is equal to the same area that's over here. So for this particular one, it would be uh, 0.0062. Okay. Now let's look up uh, one down here and see 0.89. So we find that in the table. The 0.89 is down here. Okay. Now the trick here, the thing that you want to watch out for, is that it's asking for the cumulative area from the left of 0.89. So cumulative area from the left of 0.89 is going to get all of this area back to the left. So what this tells me is that the area between the mean and 0.89 is 0.3133. But the area back to the left is going to include all of this area. So we've got to remember to add our 0.50 there to get 0.8133. So, for this particular problem, the answer would be uh, 0.8133 because it would have the area that's all the way back to the left. Okay. Um, so those are those are a couple of examples. You really do want to work with the uh, the Z scores to the point to where you get a pretty good feel for them. Um, there are some some points that you know as we leave, I want you to, to really understand. Uh, again, you know we had the formula Z is equal to X minus the mean over the standard deviation. If you know any three of these, you can calculate the other value. If you know the Z value, then you can get the table value, which also makes sense that if you know a table value, you can go back and calculate the Z value. And this is a central concept in statistics. Uh,